This is the pace of a modern America, a working America, a fun-loving America, and the combination is complete. You, the music, and WABC. Go, go, go. In New York, it's the one. 77 WABC. On the go, go. Bob Lee, KHJ News and Information, and now from Hollywood, Charlie Van Dyke plays them for you. 8 o'clock at KHJ Los Angeles coming up in moments. I'm so honored. Got a call from the big guy. KHJ Stevie Wonders, Sir Duke, that's off the songs of the Key of Life album. Three after eight, Charlie Van Dyke, Sunshine by Afternoon, I promise. When I leave you with clouds, high of 72. And in 60 seconds, I'm most excited about this. Another call from the big guy. Today. Hello? 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 Oh, sir, you're back on the phone again. Good morning, Charlie. Let me, my fellow Americans, let me make this perfectly clear. I'm calling you with my heart. Not my mind. <laughs> Sir, I realize here on the occasion of my last show, I particularly appreciate the call, and it's got to be an exciting morning for you. What was the TV interview last night? How did that go? Make no mistake about this. It was a big night for your former president. Uh, uh, let me say this about this. Uh -huh. uh, after, well, David Frost, I suppose he's okay. But looking back on it now, Charlie, let me say... I think I would have preferred to be on with someone like Ed Sullivan or Ted Mack. <laughs> talking to Frost reminds me of talking to Kissinger. I am the only one without an accent. Uh, <laughs> Did you I suspect <laughs> some TV critics will call it an intense tech attack. Did, did you find the show interesting as you watched it back yourself? I called it a boob, a boob. <laughs> a what? Uh, let, let me say this. A touch of sadness is in my heart, Charlie, to know that this is your final day. Yeah. But don't feel bad. Why? They wrote a whole book about mine, and make no mistake about it, I know what it's like to leave a big job <laughs> She's so tasty. It's eight after eight. I uh, guess only Governor Brown knows for sure. Although I'm hearing, though, that she's considering a possibility of appearing in Hustler. Really and truly. Not too shabby. Fair skies today. Sunny by afternoon. The high will be 72. But calls are really coming in today, and I really appreciate all the nice people who are helping me celebrate my, my last show on the radio here at KHJ. Another call now. Hello there. Hi, Charlie. This is Tom Bledsoe up at the KHJ Sales Department. Tom, how are you, man? I'm pretty good. We're all sitting up here listening to your show, you know, remembering the good old days. Oh, yeah. You know, the accounts you lost for us and all that. But we're, we're forgetting all about that. We're actually calling because we're looking at a schedule here, and uh, we know today is your last day on the air, but uh, you're not actually leaving town yet, are you? No. Oh, no, not yet. Uh, when, what day will you be actually leaving town? The 15th. The 15th? Okay, fellas, the party's the 16th. And now from Hollywood, Charlie Tuna plays them for you. Wait a minute, I changed my mind, Bob. I've decided I'm not going on today. Good morning, 6 o'clock. This is Charlie Tuna, KHJ, Los Angeles. I'm just uh, sitting here trying to reacquaint myself. Funny thing happened to me on the way to work here five years ago. <laughs> and there's a sign in front of me that says, Money is the only object. Now you know why I've come back. Music is a world within itself. Change, change, Stevie wondered. Sir Duke this morning, 6.03 with Charlie Tuna. We have a cloudy day out. There's supposed to be a slight chance of showers today. Southern California in May. I expected around 65, 49 here in Hollywood this morning. What a welcome. When I walked in the gate this morning, groupies standing all around asking, When is Sylvester Stallone going to be on? <laughs> Never forget. Uh, Sylvester will be here for those of you who are interested in hearing Rocky. He'll be here around 7.30 this morning, and you'll have a chance to talk to him on the telephones. We have some other guests are going to be dropping hey, in. Hey, are you Charlie Tudor? Uh, yes, but I'm on the air right now. Let me come in here. Well, but, but we're doing a radio show. We can't have people wander. I'm here to talk to you. What, what is it, though? My name is Edith Ann. What is yours? Charlie Tudor. Tuna. 
Charlie Tudor. Tuna. No, not tuner. That's tuners on a, a radio. That's what you... Tune. Charlie Tudor, like a tudor fish. That's right, the tuner fish. Charlie Tudor, how come you will not play Cookie Mobster or whatever I call you and ask you to? Well, we try and play as many requests as we can, Edith Ann, but... The... I have been listening and listening, and I could never get to hear Cookie Mobster on your show. There are some songs that we try and get the most popular requests Yeah, on. everybody on the block at my neighborhood wants to hear Cookie Mobster. And that's why we came here today. Junior Phillips is outside, and he wants to hear Cookie Monster, too. Do you have any other songs? I don't seem to have Cookie Monster around here right now as I, I look at our, our record files. It's a situation where if we don't have it right away, we'll get it on. Maybe tomorrow morning we could play it for you. But today, it's a, a little difficult. Well, then how about something else real interesting? How about Love is a Many Splendored Thing? Love is... A, aren't you a little young? I like Love is a Many Splendored Thing, and I like... Cookie Mobster, and I like Rubber Ducky. R rubber Ducky. Now we and, wait a second. And I like, uh, I like Snow White singing about the prince coming. Snow White and the prince, also. Her voice is real high. Very teeny and tiny and singing real high. Where, where do you live, uh, exactly, Edith Ann? I don't really have... I live a... in a hotel. You live in a hotel? <laughs> Yes, I live in a hotel. It's a three-bedroom apartment. <laughs> three-bedroom? <laughs> who, who else is there with you? Buster's there with me, my dog. Buster, your dog. And sometimes Bobber brings my baby brother and I look after him. And you want to know something? I had Bobber told me to be very careful not to press on my baby brother's soft spot. So I took a ballpoint pen and made an X so I wouldn't forget. Do you get an allowance each week, Edith Ann, to take care of your little baby brother like that? Yes, I get some money for that, and then some money I get from the tooth fairy, mm -hmm. and then some money I get from taking beer bottles back to the grocery store. <laughs> All right, it's right now, six and a half minutes after eight o'clock with your cousin BC. This is New York and WABC having a ball. Are you searching for something to help your acne pimple problem? Now, listen to what cousin BC has. The proper pH people say this now. I quote, use proper pH regularly for three days or more. See how you like it. If you're not satisfied, simply return the bottle or label, and the proper pH people will refund your money. Now, Groovy, that's end quote. Proper pH is formulated by this farmer's, this farmer's, this drug is for his own brats as an aid to the relief of acne pimples and blackheads. This guy knew how embarrassed these monsters were by complexion breakout, so he created a clear, colorless liquid. No one knows you're using it but you. Do something about those blemish eyes, will you? Get proper pH today. P-R-O-P-A, pH, proper pH. Go get it. So once you've acquired a pair of contactless lenses from the New York Ophthalmic Center, you automatically qualify as a cousin who not only looks better, but one who sees better. Now, today we're going to talk about lensmanship lesson number three. One, two, three. You ready, Sally? Yes. All right. Or it's called the art of wearing glasses without anybody knowing it. Point one. Now, write this down, please. You have a pencil sharpened and everything? All right. Never start yelling land ho on the Staten Island Ferry. All right? Never. Never. It's true that with your New York Ophthalmic Center's contactless lenses, you'll be seeing things better. But just relax and get used to the idea of seeing things. You got that? Yeah. All right, now here's point two now. If for no re other reason than you miss pushing your glass along your nose, which is kind of weird anyhow, Sal, as you'll admit, and it's within 30 days of getting your contactless lenses, just bring them back, and they're going to give you a complete refund. You only pay for the examination charge, and you can push to your heart's content. And that's something I know you've always wanted, you know, to content your heart. Number three now. If soon after you switch to contactless lenses, you find yourself getting marred, married, married, it would be good lensmanship to throw away your bridal bouquet with the following message. That's what you're going to say. I owe it all to the New York Ophthalmic Center's contactless lenses at BR9-5555. Now, you can throw your bouquet away, Sal? Yeah. Good. Follow the lens with your rules, and your outlook on life is sure to change. Besides, now, they've got free parking right in Manhattan. There goes the bouquet. New York Ophthalmic Center's BR9-5555. W-A-B-C. B.J. Tomas right now. My cousin's hooked on a swing and feeling. Bruce in New York on W-A-B-C Radio on a magnificent cold-type night. Hey, this place. Gotta be the place. Know the place? My Gimbal's WABC Radio Chime Time right now. Gimbal's Chime Time. It's 11 and a half minutes after 8 o'clock. Get to Gimbal's Midwinter Furniture Sale and show today. You've never seen anything like it. A whole new furniture floor, all new decor, and new model rooms. Oh, what furniture? What buys? All the new looks and contemporary furniture for bedrooms and dining rooms. At Gimbal's now, save 10% on elegant uh, collections by Lane. 
Save 15% to 20% on Gimbel's entire collection of static and flare sofas and chairs. Find plush velvets, leathers, suedes, and stretch fabrics. Get to Gimbel's new modern galleries today. Cousins, you'll save, and you're going to see so much over there. See Founder's newest contemporary collection of bedroom and dining room settings, too. Why don't you bring your lunch there and eat there? I think that'd be funny. See the new Oriental collection by American of Martinsville. Find handsome new ideas in Gimbel's new modern import gallery. Superb, sophisticated, modern. Settings for living room, den, and dining room from Deutschland. Italy, Scandinavia. See all the new furniture floors, will you? And the all-new galleries in Gimbel's midwinter furniture sale and show. Get there today. Or tomorrow, that's Gimbel's New York, Perales, Westchester, Valley Stream, and Roosevelt Field. Get to Gimbel's. That's the please. I'm Allison Steele, the DJ. Wolfman, you ready for another Zit question? Hey, Allison, baby, I'm a DJ, too. Oh. I don't go around saying, hey, this is Wolfman Jack, the DJ. The transformation has begun. Step one. Transformation continues. Step two. The final step. The transformation is now complete. Actually, this morning is the morning. 8.36 with Buona Johnny on Cliff. KLIF 1190. KLIF and dance with me. It's Orleans with Buona Johnny at 8.39 on Cliff. If your marriage is in trouble, one out of every two is, you know, do something about it. The Life Counseling Center of Dallas. They'll help you find a way at 243-6554. KLIF 1190. the music. Cliff and Big D makes it easy to win. You'll have your chance to see and hear Seals and Crofts in concert. You keep it on! <laughs> Cliff land weather, heavy snow warning for this morning, but not for long. The weathermen say snow and clouds will disappear today. It'll get warmer. Morning low this morning, 30. High today, 45. Currently is 33 in Fort Worth. And it's 33 at Cliff. K-L-I-F. Good morning. <laughs> you said to call. You should talk, so I'm calling. You're calling to talk? Yes. Well, what do you want to talk about? Whatever. Whatever? Yes. Usually when you call to talk, you ought to kind of have, like, something to say before you call, you know? Um, so you must know what to talk about, right? Uh, how's the weather? Fine. Good weather. <laughs> Well, this has been just an enlightening conversation. Mm -hmm. All right, I hope you get a thunderstorm in your shorts. Oh. The Bradfords are back in the fall premiere of Eight is Enough. What? I've been kidnapped. A special two-hour Charlie's Angels right after Eight is Enough. Oh, my turn. And it's uh, starting tonight at 8 o'clock on Channel 7. All right, all right. Uh, 
The Kentucky Fried movie is totally bananas, chicken lovers, and the critics agree it is a hit. The LA Times says it's really funny, and even WABC TV, which has shows of its own, think it's funny. Bring up the chicken sounds, would you? The Kentucky Fried Movie, now playing in a blue ribbon theater. Check your newspapers for a theater and a chicken joint near you. 99X at six minutes after eight o'clock. A good alternate for the LIE this morning would be the Grand Central. Uh, BQE route, all right? And the lower level 59th Street Bridge, somewhat better than the upper deck. Now Bob Seeker. <laughs> Eleven after eight o'clock. Columbia University would not give Friar C. McAllister a grant aid, so he went to the streets of Chicago and he started begging for money to go to school. He averaged eight dollars an hour on some corners, and guess what? He's going to Columbia with money to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for stupid news, an exclusive feature of the stupid. Jay Thomas show here at even stupider 99X. Well, starting October 1st, attention jarheads and leathernecks. If you want to join the Marines, you'll have to be able to read and write on at least a fourth grade level. The Marine Corps says that it uh, wants to get out of the remedial reading business. They've had to teach all these guys that get in there how to read. No word yet on what they're going to do to find future drill sergeants. <laughs> <clears throat> well, what's going to replace the pet rock? In Portland, Oregon, the zoo there is selling zoo do. So help me, folks. I have my hand over my heart. Under the slogan of better than the other fertilizer, you get a five-pound plastic bag of zoo do for just a dollar. Gift wrapping's a little extra, though. How about it, babe? You know, a little puppy would make a great Christmas gift. You can pick up your holiday pet at the Atlantic Humane Society, 10th Street and Howell Mill Road. Three dogs this time. QXI. It's 11.31 with John Later. It's going to be mostly cloudy and mild on our Christmas weekend. That's the best we can do. There's also a chance of rain or drizzle, but if we don't talk about it, maybe it'll go away. Now today's going to be 55, low tonight down to 44, and a high on Christmas Eve day, 56. 49 and cloudy in Atlanta now with Steely Dan. You better go back, Jack, and do it again. The dude's name is Steely Dan. QXI with John Later. That's called Go Back, Jack. It's 11.35. 58. Yeah, baby, Christmas weekend with John Leader. It's 11.36 at the Super Q. And I was just wondering, uh, see this big mistletoe I have hanging here? Just uh, tell your old man you're going out for coffee and slip away. What slip away? QXI and Clarence Carter proving that uh, holiday gas can pay off. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how he does that. Kind of amazing. Here's David Gates. Mm. QXI on the John Leader Show with Brad and that Sweet Surrender. Would have been a great movie title for a George Raft movie. Could have had Truman Capote do the screenplay and everything. We know I just got to congratulate Mr. and Mrs. David Smooth. They are the last winners in QXI's last contest. What do you think about that? Later on Christmas weekend, it's 11.46 in the city, and we got a funk of five with Stevie. Ooh. I dig this, man. It's from his new album called Talking Book, Superstition. Stevie, yeah. Woo. Oh, he's come a long way from uptight all right. QXI on the John Leader Show. It's 11.49. Go ahead. Join Andy, and because they're young, Marvin Gaye, before that, and I wish it would rain. No doubt somebody somewhere is saying that this afternoon. A girl in Jeffries from his new album, a song called She Didn't Lie. It's a minute after five o'clock. This is KSAN in San Francisco. Charlie Walker sitting in for Norm Weiner, and right now the Cosmic Muffin, and tonight's astrology report, which is coming to you from a party in Boston. Yeah. Hey, the more... If I can't hear you too well, Johnny, it's very, very noisy here. Yeah, you're coming over okay, so go ahead. We've got, uh, right now it's the New England premiere, thank God it's Friday, and people are packed in. 
Anyway, a moon in Libra tonight. Today, what says so? Well, it's a wise person, you must remember, who rules the stars. It's a fool who's ruled by them. I'm going to stay out tonight and enjoy an eight. I hope you do the same. Over and out. KSAN in San Francisco. Here he comes. Truly, uh, Ian. Excuse me a second. I'll just say a little word in there. Uh, the Beach Boys playing them quite a bit this afternoon. It's the weather for it. Uh, God only knows. Brian Eno from his most recent album, Before and After Science. And a pretty track called Here He Comes. And Warren Zevon, of course. And the Werewolves of London. One of our greatest technological achievements was a multi-billion dollar fraud. Parental guidance suggested. And don't miss tomorrow night's sneak preview of Capricorn One at the Coronet Theatre in San Francisco, Festival Cinema in Hayward, and at other selected theatres throughout the Bay Area. Bill Graham is proud to announce the opening of the 1978 season of Days on the Green. And there's another great Graham Gala homecoming show coming up at the Concord Pavilion on Monday, featuring Journey and Ronnie Montrose. Joe Walsh and Turned a Stone from the album So What, and Eric Clapton from the... <laughs> There's one in every crown, been rushing around looking for records. Uh, and a song called Hi. And we're about to say hi to the man in the sky, one and only Bud Stunt. Uh, Bud, are you there? You better believe I am Johnny Walker. How are you tonight? I'm doing pretty good. How the are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm just looking for some uh, for something to read. Something about Tires Plus, I bet. Yeah. But it's done brought to you by Tires Plus at 11th and Mission in San Francisco, who have the tires for whatever moves you. And what's moving you tonight? Well, what's moving me is a couple of propellers on the undercarriage of the blimp, and what's moving the people down below... Oh, it's kind of a normal commute, Johnny. Ladies and gentlemen, the beat goes on. W-O-R-F-N, New York. 1131, the city. Trick and trick me back to 1964 for the Ragdoll Tower when it was a number one record, 1134 in the big town. Good morning, this is Sebastian Stone. Oh. I'll call you from the hotel, honey. Have a good trip. Alexander, a new movie at Cinema 2, 60th and 3rd. Big town sound, W-O-R-F-M. 98.7 proudly presents Tony Taylor, today at 12 noon. It's 11.37, this is Sebastian Stone with the Jarmels taking you back to 1961. But this one... A little one. bit of snow, we'll never watch, or we might it. Mmm, it's gonna never, 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 uh -huh, watch you we might. It's 20 minutes before 12, this is Ron King, WORFM 2020 News. De Gaulle was in the U.S. for former President Eisenhower's state funeral. Foreign Minister Dubray is quoted as telling the cabinet that favorable signs for peace in Vietnam have appeared. But there is no word just what he had in mind. The temperature in Queen 60, the Bronx 59, Brooklyn 60, Staten Island 59, and in Newark 60. Right now, Midtown, 59 degrees. This is Ron King, WORFM 2020 News. 
That's what's happening today, April 2nd, 1969. April 2nd, 1965. You're gonna lose that. This is Sebastian Stone, and here's Engelbert Humperdinck, the way it used to be. This is Radio KBOX. Uh -huh. This is Radio KBOX. Uh -huh. Come on and stay with us so far. 1480 on your dial. We'll make your day a great big smile. Wonderful KBOX. <laughs> Start the morning with Daddy. Start the morning a friendly way. You need the weather and temperature too. All the news, all the news is good. So here's Dan Ingram with a big hello on the Dan Ingram Show. How you doing, Dallas? It's Big Dan Ingram, your morning mayor of Big D. Awful nice to have you with me on the right side of radio. K-Box 1480. Uh, you're looking real good this morning. Hope you had yourself a good night's sleep. Hope you didn't get too wild last night and took it kind of, you know, careful. Uh, this is October. This is November. What month is this? I never can tell anymore. One day it's warm, and the next day it's freezing. At least we didn't get that snow we were supposed to get last night. 27th of February, 1960, 24 minutes before 7 o'clock. K-Box big time on your Dan Ingram playing at 1480, the right side of radio. K-Box! And it's real nifty having you with me. The other group of the day, the hard guys of Big D. Your hard guys. Your nail men. Your ruffians. The honor group of the day, you guys. Now, who listen to this, you guys? Ooh, I got a hangnail. Ooh, it hurts. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Oh, well, you kiss it and make it better, Mama. And while she's kissing it to make it better, die on the Belmonts. Make it even greater with where or when. Break it 402, it's our day, baby. You and me at WCFM. Wednesday night. Wednesday night at Constant Action U.S. 30 Drag Strip. Their next. cars, let it all hang out. Wednesday night. Wednesday night at Wayland U.S. 30 Drag Strip. Where the great ones run. It's the real thing. Coke That's the way it should be. Coca Cola. What the world wants to see is the real thing. Coca Cola, Coke. That's the way it is. Bottle of coke and the way it will stay a real refreshment. What the world wants today is the real thing. Coca Cola is Coke. For Coca Cola, the sandpiper. WCFL, Chicago Weather. Partly sunny and humid today and tomorrow. Chance of thunder showers. Highs near 93. Fair tonight. Chance of a shower. Of course, low near 75. And a chance of maybe no showers at all. You never know. 91 downtown of Marina City. It's 89 in Winnetka. 95 in Worth. And are we gathered together with Andy Kim and Big Ten? That does a little something for me. Scotty, break at 407 from WCFL. Oh, gee. Oh, gosh. He's going to take me on the boat. Speed convenience on the intimate atmosphere of your very own car. Big 10 Scotty, break at 408. Big 10 and last year's gold. Free dog night. Easy to be hired for the all-time greats. How can people be so heartless? There he is, Johnny Nash on the even your WKBW. We kiss 
and the angels sing. And according to the cry of the muddy-chested crow for a Friday morning, we've wandered around to, wow, like 27 minutes, 45 seconds after the 6 o'clock marker. And, of course, this is Perry Allen. Your success has been an inspiration to every village idiot in the country. Well, anything we can do for society, we're proud and happy and satisfied. This is no place for second best, cause only the best will do. There's no two ways about mayonnaise. Hellman's is the one for you. And we sincerely hope at 29 minutes after 6 you'll be able to stay with us this morning all the way until 9. Are you kidding? You can get killed that way. Well, what are you going to do? Win a few, lose a few. Here's the K-Big Sports Scoreboard Report for 29 minutes, 15 seconds past 6 o'clock. Hey, ball, and get out under those fungos there! Sure, here's the... Story, the International League leadership by a full two-game margin. Other scores, Toronto 5, Columbus 4, Richmond over Montreal 2-1, and Havana defeated Rochester 12-6. Incidentally, Miami is at Buffalo again tonight. Game time is 7.30. KB covers the majors in the American League. Cleveland over Baltimore 3-2. Detroit beat Boston 10-5, Chicago 4, Washington 1. And New York defeated Kansas City 5-4. In the National, St. Louis 3, Milwaukee 2, Pittsburgh 3, San Francisco 1, Chicago over Cincinnati 6-2. And Los Angeles beat Philadelphia 5-2. Finally, the Floyd Patterson, Ingemar Johansson heavyweight title fight postponed from last night because of rain may again be put off by bad weather. It's exactly 6.30, by the way. KB will bring you definite word at about 11 o'clock this morning. WKBW, this is the race that sets the pace for Buffalo. Buffalo! Buffalo, we're at 70 degrees. W. K B W Pulse Beat News WKBW temperature is 70 degrees. The complete weather forecast following the headlines from KB Action Central, presented by the Ligon and Myers Tobacco Company, makers of LM Filter Cigarettes. They said it couldn't be done. They said nobody could do it. But LM is low in tar with more taste to it. LM don't settle for any other. Low tar, more taste. Don't settle for one. Without the other, L and M. It's the weather man. Take the cue. And tell us what the weather's gonna do. On the WKBW climatological map, this hour's reading shows warm and humid today through tomorrow with occasional showers, thunderstorms in the area, high today in the 80s, low tonight 65 to 70. Present WKBW temperature standing at 70 degrees, relative humidity 83%, and the winds out of the southwest at 10 miles an hour. Repeating the cave, big story of the moment. Chautauqua County Probation Officer arrested on first-degree grand larceny charges. Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company, makers of L&M Filter Cigarettes, will present the news again tomorrow morning at 6.45. More news any moment. More news any moment. More news any moment. Mm, on KB. Featuring a discussion of love letters from Ma Kettle to King Farouk, it's the Perry Allen Show. Good morning, cousins. Eleven minutes to go until seven. What more can I do? There he is, Lloyd Price, at uh, exactly, according to the cry of the muddy-chested crow, eight and one-half minutes on the uphill side of seven o'clock this Friday morning. Lloyd's got personality. There's a great tune. The way he sings it is so, you know, swinging. It was wrote by a fellow named William Shakespeare that lived over here in the old country here a while back. Yeah, well, I thought it had that certain touch. By the way, 70 degrees, the current WKBW street level temp. No. He's a real winner, Johnny Horton, entertaining here on the Russ Syracuse Show, this Whalen Wednesday edition, coming your way at 1520, the even you or KB Radio, and battling down there in New Orleans. Summertime, 19 and a half minutes before 2 and 71 degrees under partly cloudy skies in downtown Buffalo. Gibson appliance values are out of this world. Gotta go, gotta go, go get a Gibson, go get a Gibson, go get a Gibson now. For the hottest deals in town on the new Gibson freezers, see Ben or Joe at Mancuso's Hardware and Appliance Center, 206 East Main Street, Batavia, New York. And remember, at Mancuso's, they service what they sell. At 18 minutes before 2 o'clock here on the Rose Syracuse Show, let's take that stroll down the boulevard of Better Ballads. Here's that smooth, romantic singer, Johnny Nash. Cry of a bird dog. 
snow. We have 27 minutes past 4 o'clock on the Art Robert Show, and the temperature in Buffalo, you know what it is, 74 degrees. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable. Have a Pepsi. Anytime, like all the time. And let's do it this way. Chuck Berry and all the berries right now. We're going right back in the USA. I'm so glad like I'm living right here in the USA. Chuck Berry and all the berries. Summertime is 18 minutes in front of five in the Art Robert Show. I'll tell you what, partner, you head right down to your favorite candy or food store and you enter the McGuire Sisters Sweepstakes. It's the big excitement in Buffalo. At the store, you just ask for the McGuire Sisters punch card. It's probably right near the display of Coca-Cola. And then take a punch and get a lucky number. There's nothing to buy. There's nothing to write but your name. And 1,052 marvelous prizes to win. The first prize is a big, wonderful day and evening party for you and 50 of your friends at the Glamorous Glen Casino. That's right, I said you and 50 friends. You'll have amusements, rides, a deluxe dinner, dancing. There's no cost to you or your guests. Your Coca-Cola bottler picks up the check. Remember, there'll be celebrities there, music, and, of course, plenty of bottles of ice-cold Coke. At the end of the party, the winner, and it just might be you, will get a brand-new 1959 Fiat 500 convertible sports car, Fully equipped, the real thing from Autoland, America's largest imported car dealer. You enter the McGuire Sisters sweepstakes today. Take a punch and win a prize. And you remember, Coca-Cola, honey, it refreshes you like crazy. Radar. Radar. WKBW reports on today's radar checkpoint location. <laughs> WKBW Radar Informers say Police Radar Squad will be checking traffic today on Fillmore Avenue, Grinner Street, and East Ferry Street at 76 degrees in downtown Buffalo. Let's go with Mr. Eric Hilliard Nelson. Ricky Nelson to you. Mm, just a little too much. We listen all the while to the hot spot on the dial. 1520, that's our style on WKBW. Hello, everybody. This is Dick Biondi. We're here until midnight tonight from WKBW Radio, where summertime is 29 minutes and 50 seconds before the hour of 7 o'clock. These are the sounds of the twangy guitar band, Duane Eddy and his group, with 40 miles of bad road. <laughs> Know Your America with Texaco's History of the American Flag and Touring Historic America. Beautifully illustrated in full color. And it's yours absolutely free from any Texaco dealer. WKBW Radio, the 50,000 audio active watt voice of Buffalo. The temperature 70 degrees on the Dick Biondi Show. WKBW summertime, 26 minutes and 35 seconds before 7 on a wonderful Wednesday, the 24th of June. News of the world, national and local news on WKBW. Rudy Pond, Julie, coming up with the latest Pulse Beat news in just a very few moments on KB Radio, so be tuned for all the news as it happens as we roll along until midnight tonight. The Dick Biondi Best Bet of the Week, featuring the fabulous voice of Al Martino. I can't get you out of my heart. <laughs> This is the story of a mother. And Sterling, silver. Sterling is for now and for you. On WKBW Radio in Buffalo, you're tuned to the sound of music and fun until midnight tonight. Here's Johnny Horton, the big sound across the nation, the Battle of New Orleans. Bowling is cool, bowling is fun, it's cool enjoyment for everyone, so go bowling today, go bowling tonight, go bowling. 
It's the swingin'est man, WKBW Summertime, 18 and 42 before the hour of 7. Nat King Cole to carry us to news time with the all-time favorite. One of Nat's best efforts to date, You Made Me Love You. You made me love you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Solid Gold Weekend. W-R-K-O. It's 8.59 at the big 68. This is Dale Dermott. And these are the Raw Nets. W-R-K-O. It's time for the WRKO $1,000 flashback. Your chance to win $1,000 in WRKO cash. I'll take the sixth call now on the hit line at 931-1630. Not to be confused with the Lady Drees, which are on later, and Why Should I Cry? It's 9.05 at WRKO with Dale Dorman. Okay, Celia, we're about to flash back to one of the top 100 hits of the 60s. Now, Mrs. Celia Suckney of Chelsea for $1,000 in WRKO cash, Celia. Which one will it be? Number two. All right, number two is the number. Good luck to you, Celia. <laughs> You didn't pick your right hit. However, we're going to send you volume two of our 30 now golden LP and stand by for another chance next hour for the WRKO thousand dollar flashback. Seven. WRKO thousand dollar flashback time. Saturday morning in Boston with Dale Dorman. That's our rainy night in Georgia with Brooke Benton. It's tip pound. And it's got a good set of words. Listen to the story. Hoover and Barman suitcase. Trying to find a warm place. Our music. WRKO. Time 10. WRKO. This is the Dale Dorman show. Talk about solid gold. This is okay. This is for East Boston. Willie the hand jar. I know Kathy. Stand by to cue the gunner, cue the gunner. Now playing at Chinese and national theaters in Studio Drive-In. 93 Exchange. Tell me something good. Exchange, Machine Gun Kelly and Rufus. Tell me something good. It's 523. Do you like your face? Yes, I like my face. Do you like your chin? Yes, I like my chin. Do you like your cheek? Yes, I like my cheek. Do you like your skin? The skin I'm in. Then leave your skin the way, the way nature intended it. Getting down about 65 tonight, 82 downtown, now 78 in Hollywood at KHJ. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Five twenty-seven. And now here's the star of our show, Roy the Dodge Boy Stenman. Thank you, thank you. Okay, panel. Here's the clue. The object is animal, vegetable, and mineral, and costs twenty-six hundred and twelve dollars. Let's begin with Irwin. Um, does the manufacturer's suggested retail price of twenty-six twelve include all standard equipment? Yes, it does, uh, Marion. But twenty-six twelve doesn't include destination charges, state and local taxes, or dealer preparation charges, if any, right? Right again. Uh, uh, Dewey. Is 2612 a lower price than the standard Volkswagen or Toyota Corolla 1600? It sure is. Now, panel, can you tell us what is animal, vegetable, and mineral and cost 2612? Oh, well, well, I'd well, say... I think, uh, oh, I think, oh, 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 I've got it. Is it a Dodge Colt with prune tires? Oh. That's it, panel. That's it. You've got it again. 
Dodge Cove Coupe, only twenty six twelve. Uh, prune tires option. See your Dodge dealer now for the year end clearance prices. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about those lousy clothes you've been wearing. You need to look great and wear some sharp clothes for Miller's Outpost. That's right. Southern California's headquarters are back to school for the whole family. Miller's Outpost near you. Dial in for me. Ninety three KHJ. To, uh, listen to the Sam Yorty show on KGBS. That'll be tomorrow. It's going to be a very big thing. Huh. At KGBS, don't forget Sam Yorty tomorrow morning. Well, that I, I, I'm, you're making a big deal out of nothing. Oh, come on. People from the no oil. <laughs> Register now for the 9th Annual Angel Week, March 23rd through 29th. Brochure available at most downtown stores, banks, businesses, and governmental agencies. Many exciting events. Angel Week is coming up. It's that lucky time, 7-Eleven. Hudson and Landry here. Hudson will sneeze for you right now. What's that, Al Green? Boy, they sure loved him on the Grammy show that night. He got up there and sang all his songs. They seem to. Maybe they were just playing as smart as carrying a knife, you know. Oh. <laughs> hey! Uh, what? Don't fool around! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, quit fooling around. <laughs> it's 14 minutes after seven. The following program will be interrupted for any important war bulletin. Oh, good. At Steiner Pontiac Used Cars, you can buy a one-year-old car for only half the new car price. Just as Steiner has been the new car leader, now it leads the way in used car sales. Right now at Steiner's Big Lot, 1976 Colorado Boulevard in Pasadena, you'll find over 100 units including cars, trucks, campers, and motorhomes. If your needs require a luxury car, Steiner can save you many dollars because Steiner purchased some of these luxury cars at much less than the Blue Book price. And they even have new car factory warranties. Luxury, sports economy, and just plain cars are all specially priced right now. The Hudson and Landry feature today is a 1969 Chevy Malibu sports coupe, fully equipped automatic transmission, power steering, air conditioning, fully equipped, and that price is $1,095. I understand we have a gentleman in the audience who purchased a Hudson and Landry special at Steiner Pontiac a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that's right, and then he painted it like an Easter egg. I'm Earl Shy. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> As a matter of fact, I had to sign a statement in my own blood that I would play this once a day because he's hyping it. Johnny and the Hurricanes. If there's anything else you'd like to hear in the way of violence, I've got more records like that. We're only too happy to play them for 80 cents each. 25 after 12 noon, K make Dramathon time. Everybody's pretty excited about this record and they like it a lot too. Peter, Paul, and Mary. 
That's Brandy Koenig, hit by Sound Peter Paul and Mary in the Bob Morgan Show. And if I had a hammer, I'd break all the Johnny Crawford records I ever. It's 29 minutes before 1 o'clock in the Bob Morgan all-electric radio wireless crystal set broadcast coming to you in your tubes this afternoon. Hooper rated number one, whatever that means. And this is Brenda Lee. And I'm Surly. I'm sorry. Brenda Lee is sorry. No, wait a minute. I, what I meant... <laughs> Uh, she sings uh, 26 minutes before one came a drumathon time. Would you like to win a color TV set? Well, then stand by. Stand by for your chance to win a color TV set on K Make's Sound of Fresno contest. What is this mystery noise which can be heard daily in our town? Identify that sound and where it came from in a letter or postcard to K-Make Fresno 3. And win a color TV set from the K-Makers Contest Cubicle. So what do you got to say, Ray? That's what I thought. Charles with the McKinley Avenue Rushmore Lumber Company chorus on the Bob Morgan Show. The album Modern Sight. Well, you know the rest of it. 23 minutes before one, K-Make drumathon time. You mind if I toot my own horn here for a minute? I'll... Okay, put down your weed eaters and here we go. Carly Simon from her album Playing Possum, which is my nominee for album cover of the year, but I'm a little weird anyway. It's 3.08 at WSM. Nashville's Lou Graham at the end of uh, seven holes in the U.S. Open playoff today remains out in front of Art Mahaffey by a couple of strokes. They both parred that long 594 seventh hole. Graham leading by two strokes at the end of seven. Ah, uh, yes, a voice as clear as crystal, as sweet as cream, as big as a bread box. One simile too many, I think. John Denver, Rocky Mountain High, 3 13 at WSM. For the 26 Associates Capital Area offices, one at 4025 Nolensville Road. And there are others around uh, here, too. It's a 315 now, Nashville weather. Well, more heat and more humidity. It's a ladder that kills you. High today, upper 80s. Low tonight, upper 60s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny again. Well, a high near 90 degrees. And right now, it's 87 at WSM. Well, that's right. Hamilton Joe Frank and Reynolds fallen in love. 321 at WSM. You know, it occurred to me as I was talking about Louis Graham in the U.S. Open playoff that how a couple of local sports figures have had uh, another name added to theirs. And I'll explain what I mean. Louis Graham, whenever sportscasters refer to him here in Nashville, they call him Nashville's Louis Graham. And the other guy is Daryl Waltrip. Everybody calls him Franklin's Daryl Walt. First time I met Daryl, I called him Franklin. I thought it was his first name. That's just the way we do things. No point to this story, but it killed a minute. Radio 65 WS. That's a theme song. I can't say that. A theme song from the Rockford Files. Mike Post. 325 right now. Justin Hayward and John Lodge. Nice song called I Dreamed Last Night. Dreamed Last Night. 328, Al Vex will be in here in two minutes doing what he does best, dribbling down his chin. He'll also do the headline. Well, it's 3.30, and ladies and gentlemen, here he is, news director, program director, and honor graduate of the Robin Beard School of Debating Techniques, Al Vex. Oh, oh that, that's How cool. Are How are you? Hello, Pat. I'm it's fine. a pleasure to see I'm, you. Uh, I won't tell the folks that you just raced in here. <laughs> <laughs> with a handful of paper. Do you, have it, do you have it organized? Certainly. I'm always organized. I know exactly. I can put my finger on anything. Where's the local news? Uh, right there. Now he put his finger. For those of you who can't see, he put his finger right on there. That's right. <laughs> uh, for the most important thing right now, of course, is uh, Louis Graham. Well, now, now wait, a minute. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll, I'll grant you it's important and of some interest, but the most important thing in the world going on right now? Well, considering <laughs> what I got to work with, you know, well, I don't mean it's the most important thing in the world. I mean, if on. it were Steve Sloan leaving, now that would be the most important thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to know if it, when he made up his mind, first of all. That's that would right. be very important. No, uh, what's going on? No, but with, you know, Louis Graham, and for the Nashville people, and Nashville's, for Middle Tennessee, and all of Tennessee, Nashville's are Louis proud Graham. of our son, 
who is in Medina, Illinois, now playing golf. Yes, he is. Certainly wish I was in Medina playing golf. I wish you were, too. WSM, Nashville. WSM headline news on the half hour. President Ford says, mostly sunny, and Patrick, it's 87 degrees. <laughs> You're the only... <laughs> The only guy we see who can crack himself up during the news, and folks don't even know that. You hold that in very well. You want to tell them what made you laugh? No. You did. I'll just let it go at that. No, I won't. You see, sometimes, for the people that don't know, I have to cover my eyes to keep from looking at you because you pull various faces and stunts designed to crack me up, and I, if I don't look at you, I feel... But you were breathing so heavily, I could hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do anything to make you laugh. I'll just put my pants on and get on with the show. I made want you. I made want you. Fourteen at WNBC. I am the great Ivis Cinemoni, headed southbound on the upper Buki route. There's the right lane blocked up by the southern end of the Kosciuszko Bridge. Stay to the left. The inbound LIE has right lane blocked up as you approach Queens Boulevard. Keep to the left if you can. Nello. Hi, Ernest. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I love you. Oh, that's nice. I wish. You, I know you told me prior to this when I asked you if you were married. You, you one said yes. Then I asked you if you'd be willing to mess around, and you said no. No. Hmm? No. I love my husband too much. Well, that's... <clears throat> as much as I would hate sort of... It, that's kind of refreshing, ma'am. Good, I'm glad. Red on, red on, red on, red on, red on. Oh, I agree with you. What is your husband's name? I call him Schwartz. You do? I do. Any significance in that? Don't tell me. <laughs> I don't want Schwartz? Schwartz. <laughs> Discover Widmer Lake Niagara. Swallow our pride. Widmer Wine Cellars, Naples, New York. Dear Imus in the morning begins a short note I'd like to share with you. There are places I remember all my life through. Imus, though some have changed, some forever, not for better, some have gone and some remain. Nevertheless, I don't think I'll ever forget the good times we had at the Battle of the Bands at the Brooklyn Fox, especially when Jackie told me she was pregnant and I hit her in the mouth with my fruit punch. Thanks for bringing back all those memories. I miss sincerely, Mary the K. <laughs> hey, man, get over to Shoe Town, because Shoe Town's got it all together for you. You know those far out Bridgetown flood shoes like Mary the K wears and, you know, other weird folks? Well, boutique sell them for up to $30. Shoe Town's got them. Oh, you get ready for this. Shoe Town's got the very same Bridgetown flood for $12.88. You know, shoes I'm talking about, those dynamite two-tone and multicolored jobs and beige, brown, navy, pink, yellow, and oh, lots of others. The smoothest leathers, the richest suede, and the brightest patterns with the chunkiest stacked high heels going. I, I, these shoes are outrageous. And instead of laying out up to $30 at some big department store or boutique, you can pay just twelve eighty-eight at Shoe Town. Now, now, now listen to this. These are first quality Bridgetown floods. Oh, yes, right. Got the name right in there. In sizes for men, just twelve eighty-eight. And they're waiting for you only at the Shoe Town in Lawrence, Long Island, 348 Rockaway Turnpike, or the Shoe Town in Oceanside, Long Island, 3500 Long Beach Road. But you better get over to Oceanside or Lawrence, Long Island, Shoe Town's fast. At Shoe Town's price of 1288 to Bridgetown floods, are will go fly. It's time for Crazy Bob, boys and girls, yeah. with another exciting yeah. story. Thank you, Bob. Portnoy, hi, boys and girls. Today's story is entitled Mary Poppins, and it goes something like this. <laughs> Once upon a time in jolly old England, before all the funny business about the common market and the nasty little affair with Princess Margaret and the Shetland Pony, there was a family that had a mommy and a daddy and a cute little boy and a cute little girl. But the two cute little kids were spoiled rotten and drove away one nanny after another. Then one day, a man from the Drug Rehabilitation Center came by the house and said he had a girl who could take wonderful care of the children. Her name was Mary Poppins. She was a wonderful nanny and taught the children how to behave. In fact, almost overnight, the children's whole personalities changed, and instead of fighting over their toys, they sat around talking about peace and love and speculating on where Janice Joplin and Jimi Hendrix went. But alas, boys and girls, Mary Poppins had to leave because she got a big movie part in The Sound of Music. Years later, the parents of the two adorable children learned that Mary had been giving the kids 600 cc's of acid every day. 
everyone lived happily ever after. The adorable little girl is now a topless waitress in San Francisco. And the adorable little boy is a planter sitting on a windowsill somewhere in Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you, Crazy Bob. Yeah. Tune in again next time, boys and girls, when Crazy Bob tells us about the time he swallowed a prune pit in El Paso during Passover. I must in the morning. The world's best radio. The Air Jack Factory.